This faceless YouTube channel made almost $60,000 uploading these historical videos. And if we dig a little deeper, they only began posting around a year ago. On average, their videos receive millions of views and are frequently trending. This niche still has a lot of promise. The channel managed to get more than 95 million views across all of its videos. So it appears we still have some work to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start your historical YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Know How Now, and on this channel, I'm trying guides from different tutorials on how to grow on YouTube and see if we can do duplicate the results and earn from it as a total beginner or with no experience at all. So if you have the patience to watch this video until the end, you will have all the knowledge needed to start your own YouTube journey and earn. Join me because we will do everything from creating the channel, designing the logos and developing our characters to writing scripts and creating our first video together. To show you the proof, here's a quick clip of the video I was able to create. Did you know the U.S. Army once had a secret project to develop bat bombs to start fires in Japan using bats? In World War II, scientists attached tiny incendiary devices to bats, intending for them to roost in Japanese buildings and ignite fires. There are actually six parts to creating the actual historical channel running, but at the end of the video, I'm going to be revealing one last tip that I've learned to generate views and subscribers that will allow you to actually grow on YouTube and make money fast. People usually pay thousands of dollars for this information, but I I will give it to you for free, so make sure you listen and watch until the end. For your convenience, I will add all the links in the description and pin them to the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, it really helps. So let's get started. To start, we obviously need a channel and the branding for it. Just in case you already know how to create a channel and the logo, feel free to use the timestamps below to skip this step. But if not, go over to your YouTube studio and create a channel. For the next step, on the right side, hit on your profile icon. Then, hit switch account. And at the bottom, hit view all channels. Next, hit create a channel. Now, choose a name for the channel. So go to ChatGPT and ask it to provide us with a historical AI channel name. Then, pick the name that you like and simply copy it. Next, paste it into your name field and create an appropriate username as well. Now, tell ChatGPT to create a short channel description that is well organized and has emojis for that extra engagement. Once it's done, paste it into your bio. And now, we are ready to create our logo. To create a logo, we will need an AI image generator of your choice. For this video, I will use Leonardo AI. But first, let's go back to ChatGPT and ask it to give us a design idea for the logo. Now, the channel we are modeling uses historical figures and an old clock as their characters. So let's ask ChatGPT to provide us with a list of characters who would look appropriate in this situation. It would have to look educated have wisdom in its presence and generally remind us of history. Once it provides you with a list of ideas, tell it which one you chose and ask it to give you the text prompt for it that you can use in an AI image generator. Then head over to Leonardo AI and click on image generation. Now, in the image dimension section, put in 800 by 800 since that's YouTube's logo format. Then just paste your logo prompt from ChatGPT and hit generate. Our logo is done. Just download the one you like. Then go back to the YouTube studio and simply upload your logo. And we are finally ready to move on to the next part. The next part is to create a historical fact script. So, first you need to select the topic of fact that you're going to make a video on. There's an amazing AI tool that will help us give hidden facts about any topic we want, and that is gravityright.com. Here, we will just put the keywords of the facts that you want to know. For this video, I'm going to enter World War II. Then, enter the number of facts that we want. Let's say 15, then click Create Content. Great, we have 15 unique facts, which we can use for our videos. Now, just select a fact for which we are going to create a video. Once we select the fact, we will just continue to make a script for the video. So let's go to the next step. To help us, in Gravity Right, there is a tool that can generate a script tailored for our topic. So let's go back to Gravity Right. Copy the topic we want. I'm going to make a video on the US Army secret project Bat Bombs. Then search for the script for historical facts. Here, paste the topic and click Create Content. As we can see, we've got the entire script for the topic. It has also given us image suggestions that we can use later for our videos. And now, we are done generating the script. Let's move on to the next part. Let's go to part three, which is generating the voiceover. If you have an amazing voice, you can go ahead and record a voiceover. But if you want the help of AI, I am going to use a popular tool called Eleven Labs. There are a lot of sites with AI voice generating tools, but Eleven Labs is solely dedicated to AI voices and has the most realistic voices you can't find anywhere else. To start, just hit the sign up button on top. Once you're signed up, let's get right to it. Let's head over to the voice library and select a voice for our narrator. For this video, I am going to use what others are using, which is Adams. Then let's go over 
to the speech synthesis section. In settings, choose the voice design you added from the voice library. Now click voice settings. Voice settings have a big influence on how the voice sounds and performs. We must play around with these settings to find the best tone and performance for our content. Then, copy and paste the script we got from Gravity Right and hit generate. Once it's done generating, click on the download button on the bottom right. And now the voiceover is ready. We can proceed to the next part. We need to get the visuals to create our video. So let's go to step four, which is to generate the visuals. Now for the visuals, we're going to use Leonardo AI. Let's go back to Leonardo AI and click on image generation. Now in the image dimension section, change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and the image size to 1280 by 720. Then for the prompt, remember when Gravity Right generated the script, it also gave us the image suggestions. We can use them as our image prompt, copy the image suggestions and paste them into the prompt section. Then hit generate. As you can see, it has generated four different images, so select the one that looks the best and download it. Then do it again for all the image suggestions for each script line from Gravity Right. Once you have generated all the images, we're going to convert them into a 3D video like this. So let's go to an AI tool called Immersity AI. So just click the link in the description and try it for free. Just sign up using your Google account and you will reach this page. To convert images into a video, just drag and drop the image here. Then select the animation style you want. Adjust the animation length and you can experiment with these settings to make it look good. And once you're done, click export. Then click save. Now it will be downloaded. In the same way, you can convert all your images into animation videos like this one. Once you're done, let's go to the part where we combine all of this. Now we are going to combine all the things we do to make it into a whole video. So go to your editing software. For this video, I will use CapCut, but you can use whatever editing software that you prefer. Now let's go to CapCut. First of all, import the animation and the voiceover that we downloaded. Next is to modify the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Then we will edit the voiceover. As you can see, it has a lot of pauses. And trust me guys, if we just leave it like that, your video will never go viral and people will just click off. So we need to remove all the pauses. To do that, drag the voiceover to the track. Next, zoom in the timeline and check for spaces. Now we will just cut and remove the spaces like this and do it again in all of the voiceover spaces and we are done. Next we will put the animated videos according to the script we generated with Gravity Right. Once it's done we will put transition effects on each. Then let's go to the next which is captions. First we should make a compound clip of all the voiceover. Now let's apply the captions. Go to the text and hit auto captions. After a few moments captions will be generated. Just simply choose from one of the templates on the right side. There is a bunch of them so feel free to scroll through. I will go with this one. The next is an important thing to do. We must put the caption in the middle of the screen like this. Now hit on basic, then select the font you want and change the color of the text as you prefer and we are done. And now for the last thing which is the sounds. To find a great track that you could use on YouTube with no problems or legal issues, head over to a royalty free music provider called Epidemic Sound. You can try it out for one week for free with the link below. In Epidemic Sound, choose a music with the vibe of our video. For this tutorial, we could use cinematic, suspense and epic. Just search for the terms and listen through some options. I would use this one for our video. So let's add it to CapCut and put it in our video. Now we are ready for the export. Just hit export. Then choose 60 FPS and 1080p and wait a few minutes and we are done. Now let us move to the final part. Finally, I'll guide you through the uploading process. First, go to youtube.com and ensure you're signed into the right account. Click the camera icon or create and then upload video. Next, select your file and start the upload. While our video uploads, input the title and description. To do this recently, I discovered a ChatGPT hack that we can use to write viral YouTube titles. So go over to ChatGPT, then paste the video script we generated earlier into ChatGPT inside a quotation marks. With this, ChatGPT can read it and it's able to develop an understanding of exactly Exactly what that video is about. Then type this to ChatGPT, generate a title from the script inside the quotation marks, act as a viral YouTuber. The title should create curiosity in the reader and resonate with their desire to learn about World War II. The title should have the potential to get over 1 million views and come back with 15 viral suggestions that are each less than 55 characters in length. And now we will wait for ChatGPT suggestion. ChatGPT has come back with these 15 titles. Just choose the one you like, then copy and paste it into the title. Now we move to the descriptions. Same the title, paste the video script we generated earlier into chat GPT inside quotation marks, then type can you please write a search friendly YouTube video description for this script inside the quotation marks, then wait for chat GPT to process. Now copy and paste it into the video description. Next would be uploading your thumbnail for better engagement. To create a thumbnail, we will get inspiration from a thumbnail of a trending YouTuber. For this video, I am going to do a Mr. Beast thumbnail. To do that, go to chat GPT and then to the thumbnail imitator. What it does is it recreates top performing YouTube 
thumbnails. Then, let's find a Mr. Beast thumbnail to recreate. First, scroll to Mr. Beast's channel and then choose the one you like. After we select one, we need to download the thumbnail. To do that, all we have to do is this. First, you need to get the ID of that video. You can see the long youtube.com URL. Get the random letters and numbers after the equal sign. That is that video's ID. So select that and copy it. Now, go to our description. There is a URL with img.youtube.com. Copy it and paste it to your browser. Just change the part with the saying video ID and then simply just right click on it, save as image and download it to your desktop or downloads folder or wherever it goes on your computer. After we get that thumbnail image, go to thumbnail imitator in chat GPT. Then all we have to do is attach the image there. We don't have to write anything else. Here, chat GPT is going to read the image and describe it in as much detail as possible. Once we have the details, go to canva.com and we will use all the details we get to do a thumbnail. Just go to YouTube thumbnails, upload all the things needed, duplicate what Mr. Beast has done and there you have it, our thumbnail. Next, specify if your video is made for kids or not. Then, though minimal in search, use tags to describe video content accurately. Include specific keywords related to your video. Then lastly, choose privacy settings, private, unlisted, or public. Then schedule video release for optimal viewer engagement. So we are done creating our viral historical channel. Here is a bonus tip that can help you grow fast. We must convert that video into shorts. Why? First, it can increase engagement. Did you know that the average attention span is getting shorter and shorter? With shorts, you're providing quick digestible content that viewers are more likely to watch all the way through. This means more likes, comments, and shares for your channel. Next, it has enhanced discoverability. YouTube's algorithm loves promoting shorts, giving them a prime placement in recommendations and the shorts shelf. Plus, by using popular hashtags and jumping on trends, you can significantly boost your content's visibility. It's a win-win. And finally, your video can be marketed as well. Shorts often receive higher impressions due to their prominent placement. That's why you must put your video URL there to be marketed. This not only boosts your channel metrics, but also helps you grow your audience faster. So how can we convert our created videos to shorts? Just go to any converter online, convert your video to shorts, and upload it to your channel. Now we are done. So if you want to grow more on YouTube, watch this next.